Hey everybody, I bought a new fish recently and while it is not in quarantine, I am keeping a close eye on it to see if anything happens to it over the first few weeks that I've got it and if needs be, I can treat it in the tank that it's in. It's in a fairly small tank so treating the whole tank won't be that big of a deal. And I noticed today that it has a little bit of a sort of cloudy appearance around its head and I got to thinking about it being a fungal infection and that got me thinking about fungal infections in general and that's what this video is going to be about the first thing that crossed my mind was as soon as i mentioned that i think i have a fish that may have a fungal infection i'm immediately going to be told by people that you need to get it out of that tank and you need to quarantine that fish and i hear that a lot um, about any kind of fish no matter what type of illness it has whether it's a contagious illness or not and i'm always a little fascinated by the idea of immediately quarantining any fish that shows a sign of some sort of illness. I can understand that if it's a contagious illness that's going to break out and infect the whole tank. Although, in my opinion, if you've got a fish that's already exhibiting symptoms of a contagious illness and is now in that tank, you still need to treat that whole tank whether you remove it or not. So we can shoot a whole separate video about whether quarantining fish while they're sick is a good idea or not. More importantly, back to the fungal infection was are fungal infections in fish even contagious? And that's where I want to hear your opinion about it. I'll offer mine, but I want to hear yours. And in my opinion, I really don't have any experience and I've not seen anyone else's experience that indicates that a fungal infection on a fish is anything more than opportunistic on a given fish. So if a fish has an injury or an open wound or some other problem has caused it to have some kind of issue, then that fish may be susceptible to having uh, a fungal infection. But if the fungal infection itself is not necessarily going to be contagious. Now, I will say that fungal infections typically come from poor water conditions, poor maintenance, uh, low water circulation, low gas exchange. Um, that's generally where you're going to get, you know, your dirty tank sort of uh, conditions is where you're going to get a fungal infection. So if you've got one fish in the tank that develops a fungal infection, that means that fungus is present in the tank. And if any other fish in the tank is injured or has some sort of immune uh, you know disorder or something like that then it too could have a fungal infection breakout but again this does not necessarily mean that the fungal infection or itself the fungus itself is contagious parasites absolutely parasites are that's part of how they're designed they're built in with the idea of reinfecting new animals uh, viruses are the same way if you've got a virus in a fish well well, virus and fish there's not really a whole lot you can do if you think you've got a virus in a fish the best thing you can do is just get that fish out of the tank so that that virus doesn't infect other fish and quarantine that fish for the rest of its life and hope for the best maybe treat the symptoms but there's no real treatment for any kind of virus that I know of uh, in any kind of fish um, but those types of things would be contagious, you know. Um, a bacterial infection would not be the type of thing that would be contagious. That would be a thing that is uh, more opportunistic. If a fish has an injury or an illness, that's where your bacterial infection is going to come into play. And I think fungal infections are the same way. Um, I've been thinking about it in humans. I know there are some funguses that are highly contagious. Think of athlete's foot. You know, all you do is walk through a public shower and you come away with all sorts of different fungal infections. Your toenails turn green and you get itchy spots up to your knees and you know that that's a foot fungus and so that is something that again well again see I don't know do you call that contagious or is it simply because that fungus is present and I walked through it I now have it on my feet and if I've got any cracks in my skin or I've you know I give that fungus a foothold <laughs> no pun intended um, is, is that the case you know is the fungus itself in fact you know contagious so I would even go so far now that I'm thinking about it to say no even something like athlete's foot is not contagious it's easy to catch if you're walking 
walking around in it, but you could spend all day in the company of somebody that has athlete's foot and you're not going to catch it from them. You're only going to catch it if you expose your feet to that fungus. And so even now, the more I'm thinking about it, I, I really don't see fungal infections as being the type of infection in an aquarium that's going to be contagious and is going to infect other fish. Now again, if that fungus is present, it may mean that other fish are going to develop fungal infections, but simply removing the fish that has the fungal infection doesn't mean you no longer need to address the tank. It's not a fish issue. You don't take the fish out and say, okay, well now the tank is safe that I've removed the sick fish. If that, sick got, if that fish got sick in that tank, there's, that fungus is in that tank and that needs to be addressed in some way and you know so anyway I would be interested to hear someone else's point of view have you ever had an experience where a fish was infected with fungus uh, a new fish or something that you put into a clean tank and then suddenly other fish in the tank started breaking out uh, in symptoms I think there's a lot fewer things in the hobby uh, that spread from fish to fish than people fear I think people fear a lot of things being really contagious and spread through an aquarium uh, and that sort of thing and it's not a bad fear to have you know this is a very small closed system something like ick or something that is contagious spreads very quickly if it does spread but I don't think as many things spread as people think they do and again with the fungal infection I think it's something that is in the tank because of the conditions the, the fungus is present and then whether the fish are going to be susceptible to it or not is up to whether any individual fish is injured or what have you but the tank is still going to need uh, to be addressed. So anyway, that's my thoughts just off the top of my head about fungal infections and this new fish I've got. So make sure you're subscribed and you won't miss the update when I finally do tell the public what fish I've got. My members already know. They haven't seen it yet, but I have talked to them about it. And we're going to give it a little bit of time. Just wait, make sure it gets through its little quarantine period and see how it does. There's no point in shooting video about it if it's not even going to be around for more than a few weeks. So anyway, make sure you subscribe. Check that out. Ring that bell. You never know when I'm going to do a surprise live stream. And of course, I do one every Saturday, I mean Friday and Sunday night uh, at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So thanks again for watching. See you real soon in the next one.